Good morning besties and welcome back to my vlog. I thought it'd be fun to start my summer vlog series. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We need to make the bed so that is first on our to-do list. The bed is made. We are gonna go fill up my water. We just got a new Brita. I have to share it with you guys. So this is our new Brita. It's in our fridge and it's different than our other one that used to pour like a pitcher. So it's super nice. Got some water. <laughs> it's filled up all the way. The new Brita is awesome because we can fill up so many water bottles without having to refill our Brita. I got a question over on my Instagram if we like our Brita and why we have one. So the water in our apartment isn't like the tastiest. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just cheaper to use the Brita instead of buying bottled water or gallons of water or whatever people do that don't have good water. So that's why we have it. We really like it. Just a little FYI on that, but we are going to sit down at my desk and make a to do list for today so we can be super productive. I made a little to-do list and some videos that I want to film for both of my YouTube channels. And I thought it'd be fun to host a giveaway. So we are gonna pop over to Walmart because I wanna pick up a few things for my giveaway. It is gonna be a bracelet making starter kit. It's gonna have all of my favorite stuff in it. It's gonna be on both my YouTube channels. I'll be sure to share more in a video that goes up before this. So definitely go check it out. But I know a lot of you guys watch my channel and my second channel to make bracelets with me. And it seriously means the world to me. So I thought how fun would it be to give away a bracelet kit, like beads, string, letters, all of that. So we're gonna go shopping, I'm gonna grab my keys and my belt bag and we're gonna get going. I have on my new Hoka sneakers, they're so comfy. I have my Lululemon scuba jacket on top of an exercise dress. I have my Apple Watch on with the super cute smiley face bracelet that I made and a little Lily Pulitzer scrunchie. But I got everything to go shopping. So we got my belt bag, my phone, and my cup. So I asked John if he wanted to come with me. I'm coming with Are you gonna drive me around? I am, I'm gonna be your chauffeur today. Thank you, you're, you're amazing. Welcome. Okay, gotcha. we're going. Let's do it. We're on the way to Walmart. Ooh. Am I crazy or do they only have one thing of this? They don't have any beads, but they do have some letters. I wonder if they have any string. Oh Zero. no, it's all blue. Okay, you guys, this is what I'm gonna get and some string. We're gonna have to go somewhere else for a bead kit. So, we got some string. Oops. Oh. <laughs> As you guys can tell from the vlog clips, they only had one roll of it and it was hiding behind. So we got some of my favorite elastic. I was gonna do my favorite like go-to kit with some letters, but they were all sold out. They only had like a funky doodle. It was like a weird pastel-y color. Yeah, it was, it was not what I was looking for. So and there we, was a major chalk explosion. Okay, all that blue stuff, it was all over my hand. I think it was chalk, but. But we found a string that, that was true that was not covered at all. It had no so, chalk on it. This will be part of the giveaway. We gotta go hunt down and find a box of beads and some letter beads for you guys. So we are gonna head to the nearest craft store. Yep. <laughs> we came to Joanne's, you guys. Hopefully they have some, looks like it. They honestly have a lot of stuff. They have some supplies. <gasps> oh my God, it's the same one. The way I just screamed at <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> They're so cute. Look how cute these little smiley faces are. And then they have stars, heart. These would be so fun for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. And they have more hearts. Cheers. Cheers! We treated ourselves to some Diet Cokes. Woohoo! Woo we are back at my desk. We did some damage. So, like I mentioned in the car, we went to Walmart and you guys, they only had one of my strings left, but I bought my favorite Go Create elastic. This is my favorite for bracelet making. Let me show you guys mine. <laughs> 
I have it right now. I put one of my Kelly Prepster stickers on it. Maybe I'll do that for the giveaway too to make it extra fun and exciting. But I bought this for the giveaway and I wanted to do a tray of my favorite pony beads since that is how I got started with making bracelets and this can be like a bracelet making starter kit. So I went to Joann's and you guys, I got way more. It's gonna be in a separate video. But all of their strands of beads, you guys, look how cute these are, were all on a flash sale for Memorial Day weekend, which I feel like I scored big. I bought so many of them, so if you guys want to see a haul, be sure to go follow me over on Kelly Prepster Studio. I'm going to be doing a haul over there. I did buy two more items for the giveaway. So I got my favorite bead kit. I love these pinks, but you guys have seen these in multiple videos. I will insert a card in case you guys want to check them out because they're so fun. And then I also bought a little pack of letter beads and some of these have hearts in them. They're just so cute. So you guys can make whatever kind of bracelets you want with the giveaway. So I will put a card to my giveaway announcement video so you guys can go enter. I'm making bracelets with the pony beads and the giveaway is in there. I talk about how to enter the giveaway in that video, but basically you just have to subscribe to both channels Channels, leave a comment and follow me over on Instagram so definitely go check it out in case you guys are into bracelet making I think it's a really fun summer hobby but also just really fun and therapeutic to do as well but you guys there's even more beads in this bag so if you guys want to see a haul definitely go check out my other channel I want to start posting more videos about bracelet making over here as well because even though this is my fashion channel I love sharing the behind the scenes of my business Kelly Prepster studio but I have this huge receipt and it says that I saved $94.50 that is just so crazy to me but it was such a great sale I'm gonna put all of this stuff away I do have a few videos that I want to film for my second channel today but I'm gonna keep bringing you guys along with me we're gonna bake some cookies later which I'm so excited about we bought some like a whole row of cookie dough I'm gonna make dinner with you I have this one dish that I know how to make so I'm gonna share it with you guys and that is a little update I just wanted to share with you guys what I bought but we are going to change and go work out doing a walk it's a we're doing a brisk walk I was saying you know, we're taking a pause break to update you guys put my hair in a little claw clip it is so beautiful outside it's Gorgeous. like 70 degrees got some water and we are just getting our steps in we are back from our walk I changed into this super cute pink smiley face set I just wore this last week but it's so cute and so comfy it's like one of my favorite at home lounge outfits I'm like standing on my tippy toes to show you guys what it looks like little sweatshorts but they're super cute super comfy but we are in the kitchen I'm gonna make some dinner and if you guys watched my night routine from last week I will insert a card in case you guys haven't seen it I don't usually do the cooking but this is that one meal that I'm really good at making so we're gonna make it together it's called pizza bake super easy I'm gonna show you guys all of the ingredients and how to make it from Pillsbury's website I will try my best to link it down below for you guys if you're curious I got my little printout of where it's from so it's called Graham's pepperoni pizza bake and it is a 10 minute prep time 35 minutes total it's only four ingredients and has six servings so you're going to need refrigerated pillsbury grand southern homestyle original it's an eight count of biscuits a can of pizza sauce two cups of finely shredded mozzarella cheese and 16 pepperoni slices we kind of just toss in the whole bag so i'm going to get all of that stuff out and show you guys the steps and also i'm going to preheat the oven to 375. So I got one of our medium sized Pyrex bowls out, a baking pan. I think this is from Pyrex, but it's just like a cookie. I don't even know what they call it, but that's what we're gonna bake it in. And I got my cutting board out, a knife, and these little tongs to toss up once it goes into the bowl. I'm gonna spray some cooking spray, but we picked up some pepperonis from Kroger. This meal is seriously so cheap. Some low fat mozzarella cheese from Kroger. These are the biscuits that you're gonna need. And then we also picked up some pizza sauce by the brand Ragu. And that's called a baking dish according to this. And it's a 13 by nine inch dish, so it works perfectly. We are gonna spray it down. I'm gonna do that really quick with the pan. We are going to cut the biscuits into, I like to call them like little hashtags. These are so scary to open, you guys. And then we're gonna throw them into the bowl. <laughs> so it comes with eight biscuits and I just lay them out and we're gonna cut them up into little chunks like this. So I do two this way and then two this way. And then once that's done, you're just going to throw them into the bowl. And 
then that is all of the cutting so we are done with the cutting board and next we are going to add the pizza sauce And with our cheese, we're gonna, since this is a two cup bag of cheese, it's perfect because that's what the recipe calls for. So they'd say to put one cup in it right now and then we're gonna sprinkle one cup on it. So I'm just gonna put half the bag. And then I like to go in with these little tongs. I think these are from KitchenAid. I bought them from Amazon or Target. And squish it all around. So once this is all mixed, we're gonna put it into our baking pan. And I just like to spread it out as evenly as possible because it's gonna expand as you bake it because the biscuits. So next we're gonna go in with the pepperonis and lay them across the top. Again, you can do what they recommend with 16 pepperonis, but honestly, mine well use more. It just tastes better that way. So now we're gonna go by and sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top of it. Okay, now it's ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna go get John to help me because I don't like putting things in and out of the oven because the heat scares me. You mind being on oven duty? <laughs> Goodbye, little pizza. 23 minutes, and that's starting now. So that is gonna be in the oven for 23 minutes on 375, and while that is baking, we bought some more Crystal Light. The pictures, if you guys have seen my night routine, you guys know we have been obsessed with this. But it's we amazing. also, while we were at Walmart today, picked up a new picture, so look how cute this is it's got little smiley faces on it it was only two dollars and fifty cents we went back to kroger to buy a matching picture for the one that we got for our fruit punch which was five dollars when we bought it i think they sell it for like eighteen dollars at kroger yeah yeah it's expensive and it was ridiculously expensive so we're so excited to have this cute little smiley face one it's pink it's happy so we are going to make some sweet tea so, this is the sweet tea one and this is caffeinated it's didn't know that when we bought it but it's caffeinated so i can't Hold drink on. it Sorry, keep going. No, no. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna tell them about how many we bought. Oh yeah, should we show them the collection yeah, of how I many we bought? Yeah, I didn't want to you, I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's quite comical because we really liked our fruit punch that we got last week. The reason we're doing this is we're trying to cut back on caffeinated beverages and soda. So we're like, this is flavored water. Do we have a problem? <laughs> Maybe. But so. so the fruit punch was by far my favorite. It was great. It was so good. So we didn't know this one was caffeinated when we bought it. Should have expected it. It's made with real tea, so yeah. I should have expected it. But this will be good like in the morning. It'll be great in the morning. I'll drink yeah. it until like 6 o'clock at night. Here's your couch. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I got the spoon. <laughs> oh, it's brown. I thought it was going to be like a different color, but I guess sweet tea is brown. Yeah. Did I spray water on you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I sprayed water Let on you. Let me stir it. Yeah, give it a stir. Mm -hmm. Teamwork makes us dream. You know, I'm just going to chillax here while this spills. It looks really cool with this mic. It does look really cool. I'm excited to try it. Oh, it smells like tea. It does smell like tea. I have a feeling I'm going to like this. I have a feeling I don't you're like not going to like tea. It. <laughs> it looks like tea. It looks just like tea. That's good. Well, it tastes extra good cold. Yeah, it tastes like, um, it's very, it's a little, it has a little more bitter, but if any of you have ever had Gold Peak sweet tea, it tastes almost just like that, but like an artificial sweetener version of it, which Gold Peak's the best sweet tea. What so, would you rate it out of 10? I'd give it a solid best. 8 out of 10, because you can definitely taste the artificial sweetener of it, like it's not yeah. real true sugar sweet tea, but 8 half out of 10, okay. it's good. So we are gonna let our pizza bake bake and I'll give you guys an update when it's done. Ooh. So the pizza bake needs to be in the oven for like 10 more minutes. So I thought I would sit down and share with you guys my hokas. I just picked these up. I shared over on my Instagram a picture of two of them that I was thinking about getting because I was so indecisive about the color. And then I got a DM asking to share my opinions and my review on them. I've had them for, I wanna say two or three days so far. And I ended up getting 
the Bondi 8 and a 7.5 and, and I really, really like them a lot. This color was available at Dick's Sporting Goods and it's just like a gray with like a silver metallic with a green. I wanted to get the orange ones. I just thought they were so cute. I love the little pop of pink with the blue. These are all my favorite colors versus these because these aren't quite white and I love an all white shoe. But the all white was sold out. I think it sold out everywhere as of last week and I thought these were really close to white and I liked how neutral they were but I definitely was leaning on getting the orange ones until I tried them on. You guys, the colors look so different online, like on their website compared to how they look in person. I tried them on and they like matched the skin tone of my leg and maybe this is just a personal thing but it didn't look like I had like shoes on or something. I don't know, it just looked really weird. So I ended up going with this and I thought they would match more outfits. So I will say they're definitely like kind of tight in this part of your foot and they're very cushiony. I go up about an inch in height so I'm 5'4 so wearing these I'm kind of 5'5". They make me a little bit taller but they are so comfortable and this is probably going to sound weird but I think I've been wearing ill-fitting shoes. I went up a size. I'm usually a size 7. I got a 7.5 and, and I just feel like my feet are way more comfier. I don't want to take them off and weirdly enough I feel like my knees like feel better. I kind of just feel like I have like a little pep in my step with wearing them. So I did want to share that with you guys. I think they're really comfy. Well, I honestly think my next pair of running shoes or walking shoes will be these. I've been walking for 30 minutes every single day so I definitely wanted to get a comfortable pair of shoes because your feet are so important because it can affect your legs, your back, and can also like when you are walking it's important to have proper fitting shoes. So I hope that kind of answers some questions. I really do like them. I will say they're very expensive so if you can find a good good deal this summer I would definitely check that out but I would say I think they're worth it. So let's go check on the pizza bake. In 23 minutes see how it popped up because of the biscuits oh my gosh it smells so good wow. and then we just kind of go in with a spatula to cut it and you guys it's so good are taking a mini break from filming as you can tell I had the night aesthetic going on it is actually 10:45. it's kind of late it's dark outside it's past my bedtime we thought it'd be fun to make some chocolate chip cookies because I feel like that just would be fun oh it'd be a blast and it is amazing with milk so I gotta show you guys what I bought bought this at the grocery store the other day it's the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie dough it'll be fun to make we got a cookie tray we're gonna preheat the oven and I just think this will be so fun but look how cute their barcode is it's a little oven mitt so it says Preheat the oven to 350 spoon heaping of teaspoon. Oh, spoon heaping teaspoon. I thought I misread that. Of dough about two inches apart on two baking sheet and bake for 12 to 13 minutes. Oh yeah, that's weird. They use spoon as a verb. <laughs> I didn't know spoon could be used as a verb. Oh, are you so excited? I'm very excited. I've, I've learned something new today. Start. That's funny. Our oven just finished preheating. We are going to put them in the oven. By we, I really mean. Hey John, do you mind putting these in the oven? Okay, they're in there for 12 to 13 minutes. Three, two, one. Ooh, look at that big cookie. <laughs> Cheers. Those cookies were absolutely delicious, but I am so tired. It is time to get some sleep. I'm taking the shams off the bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun bringing you guys along with me today. Be sure to go enter my bead giveaway. Check out my second channel, Kelly Propster Studio, and I'll see you guys back here very soon with another new YouTube video. Bye, guys.